everyone, it's weekend vlog number five, five question mark. Not really sure. It is Friday night and I am getting ready to go to uh, the movies I, and I'm ready to go see Inherent Vice. So ready, born ready. You guys know how excited I was slash am to see this movie. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, the love in my heart that I feel for him is so strong so strong. Last night I was watching uh, Walk the Line. It was just like randomly on TV and it was like I like just realized like the person I want to marry is actually Joaquin Phoenix as Johnny Cash. Is that okay with you? That's a little too far-fetched probably for anyone to deal with but that's just what I realized. I'm not really that into like mushy mushy stuff but when I see that, I'm just like, hey, I love this. And, you know, I love Joaquin Phoenix forever and ever, amen. One of my friends is all the way over here, and I think that we're going to drive together and then meet my other friend there. These two friends have never met. Ooh, this lip liner is too dark for this lip color. Now. Oh, well. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. These two friends have never met before, and I feel like, I don't know, just a weird moment. Uh, I do friendships like that very often. I don't have like a lot of like, oh, this is my group of friends. We all hang out together like the TV show Friends, you know the one? This is us, we're always together. Um, no, I don't really do that. I have like a lot of like standalone friendships. And so these are like two standalone friendships that are colliding. Is that normal? Is that how other people's lives work? Because this is how my life is working right now. Um, I think it's going to be good. We all want to see this movie. I've been dying to see this movie forever. I think today is the first day that it's open here. So I'm really, really excited. Side note, I left my favorite lip liner in California and I'm so sad about it. Um, other news, California, I went there. I left on Monday and then I came back on Thursday. I had a lot of fun. I know I was telling you guys last weekend how I was really, really nervous. And thank you so much to you guys who reached out to me and said that you're rooting for me. I really appreciate that. I love you guys. You guys are so supportive and awesome. And I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I had a great time. I met a bunch of new people. Everyone was super nice. Everyone was super cool. I just did my thing and it, and I'm pretty sure it worked. I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Like, I am optimistic and like I always expect things to go smoothly, but then when they do, I'm always like, how did that go so smoothly? Except for forgetting my lip liner. That was pretty sad. Uh, and my eyeliner looks crazy today. I was doing it so fast this morning. Today was my first day back in the office and it's Friday, but since it's my first day back from the holidays, I know, whoa, I had a really long break. It felt like a Monday. So it was a Friday that felt like a Monday and it was crazy. Whoa, it's not Monday. It's not even a little bit Monday because it's Friday, the opposite of Monday. The arch nemesis of Monday is Friday. Anyway, I gotta finish my makeup. So we just got out of the movie and it was kind of crazy. Honestly, I don't know how I felt about it. I mean, it was good and it was entertaining and it was super long. Um, I was never bored at any point, but unfortunately it was not, it was not all I hoped it would be. So it was definitely the least distinct or heavy Paul Thomas Anderson movie. It was sort of like a, a beautifully shot non-committal I don't know it was sort of like uh, the Big Lebowski no Big Lebowski is much better that's why I want to see it again the story is better because the first time I saw the Big Lebowski I had a lot of the same problems except this is definitely a much less funny movie although it is pretty funny the first time I ever saw the Big Lebowski it worked for me so I don't know what didn't you like about it specifically or what underwhelmed you about it it just didn't connect I agree with you there. It's almost like he's just trying to pull off the book. He pulled off a very complex story. We're talking oh, oh, craziest part of the whole movie for me personally, it was like halfway through and it was so long that I almost forgot. But uh, at that scene where they're sitting down to have pizza with the people in the house, the, the crazy house that he came into with all the 
I don't know how to differentiate it from the other places that he went into. The places everyone but, was doing drugs. <laughs> but, uh, and those people were sitting down and they were all laying out pizzas. Yes. I saw this guy from this band that I love, The Growlers. Oh God, really? And I was like, woo! And then, and then it flashed back to them whenever they were showing the picture, and it was like The Last Supper, and it was the whole band. I nearly died. I don't know, but that was exciting for me personally. Oh, that's a good detail, I didn't notice. That. Yeah. Anyway. Martin Short, though, is worth the visit. I highly recommend Martin Short. I play my arms tight. Okay, so I'm home and ugh, it's after one o'clock and I'm super, super tired, but I did want to kind of finish up because when I was in the car, my arm got tired and that's why I kind of abruptly stopped filming. Um, but I wanted to say just to sum up my thoughts on the movie, I was totally entertained the whole time. Like I said in the car, it just did not connect for me. It was really uh, funny. Like, like funny in ways that I don't think other movies could pull off for me. Like there were moments when I was like, am I really cracking up at this? Because that was like such a lame joke, but it, it pulled it off. So part of me is thinking, oh, I should probably see it again. Then maybe, maybe I'd see it. I'm probably being pretty hard on it right now, but it is what it is. Making coffee because it's the morning. It's Saturday morning. Happy Saturday morning. Ooh. Look, look at my cute cup. I love you a latte. I have a wee little confession to make. Sometimes I use my almond milk a little bit past or a little lot past the seven to 10 days recommendation. Is this gonna kill me one day? Cause I worry about it. Like today, I'm pretty worried about it. Uh, I need to go to the store. <laughs> oh yeah, Leanne's kitchen in full effect. We've got a paper plate and two waffles and a uh, blackberry jelly. And then also some peanut butter that is not in focus. We don't care. And we're gonna make a sandwich because I eat really healthy. Have you guys realized that yet? Super healthy. I'm sure eating like this regularly would be considered like a suicide mission, but it's delicious. Have you tried this? I've been eating it since I was a kid. Okay, I'm almost ready for the day. It's Saturday and oh, I had a change of plans. I, of course, I was planning on filming videos and I don't know what because like this weekend is delightfully unplanned. Well, not unplanned. All my weekends are unplanned, but like kind of less stressed. For the last few weekends, I've just because of the holidays and all of that, like I just felt like oh, everything is like so jam packed and crazy. Um, but today I'm going with my friend to the Museum of Natural Science. Um, he has had like a year long pass for some reason and he keeps asking me to go with him. And he asked me this afternoon and I was like, I'm ready. Let's do this. But I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Not that it's that interesting, but I'm wearing my Growlers t-shirt because of because I was reminded of my uh, deep, deep love for them last night because of Inherent Vice. People who love that movie are probably gonna hate me for saying that was like the most exciting part for me, but it was. I guess it was just because it was so surprising. And I wanted to show you my new pantalones that I got. Um, I don't know if you can really see them very well. Um, I got them in LA. I did do a bit of shopping in LA and I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a haul video about it. But one of the places that I went was Topshop and I got these pants and they're a different style. They are the tall pants, um, but they're Jamie. So they're high waist ankle grazers. Um, I usually wear the uh, Topshop tall Lee jeans, L-E-I-G-H, just like my name, which maybe that's why I love them so much. But these are like a higher waist and I think they fit pretty good and they're not as long, but they are like, they're like ankle grazers, but for tall people, I don't know. Can you say it? <laughs> they are definitely not as flexible. I know the Lee jeans are like supposed to be like super soft. These are more like a real denim feel. They're super dark blue and usually I lean towards black or different colors, but these are like, I don't know, like if you rub them this way, they look like that. But if you rub them this way, they look different. I don't know how to describe that, but it's like a cool effect and I like them. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the whole look with coat and everything. All right, here we are. This is the whole look. I'm gonna be wearing my super fuzzy leopard jacket that I love 
so very much. It's not like the warmest jacket, but I, I just love it too much. You already know about that part. And of course, wearing my Target sneakers on the bottom. My ankles are gonna be cold, but I don't care because they're too cute. For a person that hates cold weather as much as I do, I really don't dress appropriately. I know. Just a little side thing real quick. I need a Christmas intervention because all my Christmas stuff is still up. No, actually, I really do think I'm going to take it down this weekend. I promise I will. I meant to do it last weekend. I, Leanne, promise I will take down my Christmas decorations. Okay, so my friend just got here and gave me the most perfect Christmas present ever. This is just part of it but it's my favorite part, not gonna lie. He said that it would be perfect for working out since I'm such a sloth, and it says part sloth, part unicorn. Oh, magic! It's so me! There's never been a piece of clothing that is more me, and I'm so happy. Did you make her sit? I'll yeah. Also, I got this little Lego Batwoman. It was like Batman as a woman. I wish it was Catwoman. Not gonna lie. <laughs> She's got a cape and everything, and this is perfect for me. All right, might as well show it off. I also got this top that may or may not be a crop top. I'm not sure. It's, it's X Files, Brains, and Beauty. I love it. It's all too perfect. Thank you. Museum? Yeah. Oh my god, if you moved, I'd die. That was like calling on me in the forest or something? Yeah, I'd never be the same. I'd never recover. It's like basically invisible. No, you're right. Like, kind of can't see where it's going now. Whoa. the guy that we were looking at, the clear guy? I don't think he's on there. It's going crazy, but it's not really going anywhere. There's a huge white one. Are you waiting for it? Come here, boy. Come here. Okay, so we just left the museum. We were only there for like an hour, two hours or something. We totally wasted time because we had to eat McDonald's, like the healthy people we are. And uh, we mostly went to see the butterfly exhibit or whatever you call it, like the, what do you call it? Butterfly exhibit. Butterfly exhibit. Cockerel butterfly exhibit. Okay. Something like that. So. Okay. It was really cool and it's like a horrible day. I like never go out and have adventures on Saturday afternoons and for some reason this is the day that I choose. It's like cold and rainy and horrible and since we, I don't know, I think I have something that I have to do later tonight. But I didn't really feel like going back yet so we're gonna go back to that tiki bar that I told you guys about. I don't know, we'll see. Okay so uh, we are on our... <laughs> We are on our way to, uh, what is it officially called? Elvis Bowie Bowie Night? Elvis Night. Bowie Elvis Night. I had it all wrong the first time. It's like a celebration of their mutual birthday, which was a few days ago.